All right, looks like we're live here. Give it a few sec seconds for folks to hop on here. The bright lights shining behind me. A few of you are hopping on. Hi, everybody. Just going to wait a few seconds and uh, let some more folks hop on here. Just do a quick Facebook Live. Good to see everybody. I hope everybody got a chance to get out and vote as many of you trickle in here. We'll wait just a few more seconds to kind of get started here. How's everybody doing? Pretty beautiful weather out here in Ohio and Michigan today. Not bad for election day, really for any November day, right? All right, a few hundred of you uh, joining us now, so we'll go ahead and uh, chat about what we're covering tonight. Good to see everybody. My name is Tyler Paley here with WTOL 11. And what I'm really focusing on here for election night is uh, polling places having uh, significant issues or, or relatively minor issues across Ohio and Michigan. And uh, it is good to report that Based on what we're hearing up to this point at 6.30 tonight, uh, an hour before polls close in Ohio, an hour and a half before polls close in Michigan, that really it's just minor issues. There is one relatively large issue that we're keeping an eye on in Michigan that I'll get to in a bit. But overall, Secretary of State Frank LaRose in, in Ohio and Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson in Michigan not reporting too many major issues at polling places across the state. We have gotten some minor complaints from many of you and from others, but uh, just overall a pretty smooth process to this point. So we do want to go over kind of what we talked about at five and six o'clock. At five o'clock, we talked about two specific issues uh, in southern Ohio that uh, folks are dealing with down there or were dealing with. They were quickly resolved. One was in Franklin County and Secretary LaRose pointed this out. This actually became an issue about an hour before polls opened this morning. And what happened was in Franklin County, that's where Columbus is, uh, apparently they're uh, voting, uh, they, they tried to upload some voter registration information into their their database and it just wasn't uploading. This was at a 536 this morning and they called the Secretary of State's office and at that time about an hour before polls opened they decided we're going to do it manually and we're going to move to our contingency plan and that's something they had planned out for months and essentially it's just those binders those papers the thick binders the three ring binders with all the voter information now you shouldn't be concerned if you did vote down there uh, because frankly it's the way they did it for many decades. Ohioans have voted like this for quite a while. Uh, it's just simply not the most, uh, I guess, effective way, but it's still quite safe and your vote will certainly be counted. So quite all right down there. And that was obviously quickly resolved even before the polls opened. The other issue we were tracking was down in Greene County. That's just outside of the Dayton area. And what we understand is some voting machines down there were not working this morning. It didn't take long to resolve. The vendor actually made uh, their way out there and it was quickly resolved. Folks uh, shouldn't have uh, seen uh, many issues for longer than a little while down there in Dayton. So again, happy to report all things have, have been resolved. Now, another thing we did talk about just a little while ago is the, the possibility of delays in reporting. And Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRoe kind of wanted to walk us through why that may be. Now, in Ohio, unlike a lot of states, absentee ballots and mail-in ballots are actually voted or uh, actually tallied very first. So at 7.31 p.m. after the polls close, literally the minute after the polls close, they start tabulating those absentee ballots. For weeks now, I mean, since October 6th, when early voting began in Ohio, they've been taking these in and essentially scanning them, but they, they haven't actually tabulated them. So think of it, they're, they're sitting there ready to be tabulated. So at 731, they can click the button and start counting those absentee and mail-in ballots. So we'll know those first before we actually get the in-person. Now, here's the, the catch in this. Let's say, when we just don't know right now, let's say a local county board of elections got just a major dump of ballots today, thousands upon thousands of ballots. Well, that could obviously, logically, perhaps set them back a little bit in counting those. So again, nothing to worry about. And this is really what Secretary LaRose stressed. And I think this is really important for all of us in a world of so much disinformation. He said that tonight we will report an accurate number, the accurate number that we have, but it won't be a final number. And, and frankly, that's nothing new. We don't ever have a final number on election night because mail-in ballots, absentee ballots have to be counted. And of course, uh, there's just no official tally on election night. These are unofficial results. Now, again, they will be accurate. They just won't be final. So don't expect final results perhaps from uh, Ohio. Now, over in Michigan, there is one issue that Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson uh, tweeted about actually a few hours ago now. And apparently in Michigan, they're getting reports of robocalls calls, making some false reports to voters 
uh, regarding voting times. They say, hey, the lines are really long in Michigan. Don't come down right now. Uh, try to vote tomorrow. And, and we all know that's, that's just not true. You can't vote tomorrow. Today is the last day to vote. In fact, in Michigan, you have less than an hour and a half to do so. Uh, we are being told that the lines at most places are not long. So if you haven't gone down there and you're in Michigan and you, you're registered to vote in Michigan, feel free to go down there and, and get in line. As long as you're in line, in line by 8 p.m., then you have every right to vote at any polling location in Michigan. So we just want to clear that up. And as far as those robocalls, the FBI is now investigating. That's what CBS News is reporting at this hour. So uh, we do want to make it very easy for you guys to submit your complaints. Obviously, polling places are wrapping up now within the next hour in Ohio, hour and a half in Michigan. But feel free to text us any questions, concerns, maybe something irregular that you saw that you're just not quite sure about and you want some more clarity on. Feel free to text us. The number is 419-248-1100. It comes straight to us. We can see it. You can also email us, tweet us, Facebook us. We, we definitely want to hear your concerns, your questions, uh, and we really do want to uh, help kind of sort fact from fiction um, on this election night. So again, tracking some issues all across Ohio and Michigan, but really overall minor issues, many of them already resolved. Uh, so not a whole lot out there to worry about tonight. Again, that number 419-248-1100. Text us any issues, questions, concerns, irregularities you may see. Um, we'd love to kind of help you separate fact from fiction. All right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Stay safe and uh, enjoy the rest of election night. Hope to see you over on channel 36 at 7 o'clock.